Okay, I decided to come on today and do a length check. I'm going to do my length check while I talk. Um, it's been about a year since I've done a length check. My best friend reminded me today ever so nicely, as best friends can if you catch my drift, that I had not done a length check in a while. And this is the last side. Yeah. And... She was correct. I hadn't done a lymph check or haven't done a lymph check in a year. My last lymph check was March of 2000. It was third Sunday in March 2012 and just the third Sunday in March 2013. Didn't plan it that way. I knew I was going to do a lymph check this month, but I just hadn't gotten to it. Um, this is the back on the right. I'm not one of those people who can pull my hair down from the back of my head in the back. I, my arm just doesn't reach up there and never has. So I um, measure the back from the front. Mm, how about I not lean my head back? But um, yeah, I have not been so obsessed and worried about the length of my hair. I'm glad that it is growing. I've always wanted to have length, um, even as a kid. I, I, never, I never had it. I didn't understand why, of course, now. I'm older, I can understand genetics, but as a kid, you don't know that. You just know that everybody else's hair is long and yours is not. And this is both, you know, before I started getting perms, before my mom started perming my hair, and after. So, yeah, this is the middle back. This actually reaches my bra strap in the back. The last time um, my friend Kenyatta had her hands in my head. She um, pulled it down for me after she washed it. And it, it reaches my bar strap in the back, which is like bananas for me. So, yeah. I've had a lot of length in the last year. I will post either the link to my blog post from last year or post some pictures from my blog post from last year below this video on my blog. But, um, yeah, this is the front. And last year... It stops right at my lips. This year, it reaches well below there. It's like wow, that's that's a lot of left. So um, yeah, I, but like I said, I'm not obsessed with how long my hair is now. I'm glad that I have the length, but I'm more focused on treating my hair well so that it doesn't break. Um, as I posted in my blog, when I was perming, permed, like the last two or three years I was processed, I had hair that was like just, I would look in the mirror one day and, oh, this section back here doesn't have any hair. Or my section in the middle, hmm, and that, at the crown of my head, you know, was thinning or on the side over here or right behind my ears. It was so weird and random but not so random because the spot matched, the left matched the right. It was just ugly. So, I'm happy that my hair is growing because that means I'm doing something right and I'm doing a good job with my hair. Um, and it's just been a trial by fire. I've picked some things up from some channels on YouTube that are some YouTubers that I watch. And some things I've been able to hold on to and apply to my hair and they work well. Some things haven't worked well. But, um, it's that learning of my hair that's helped me get to the point where I can retain this length and I mean it is just it's it's just growing it's amazing to me how long it is I don't know if you can see this or not I originally had this recorded on my webcam and come to find out I can't um figure out how to get it from my webcam file onto my flash drive or even onto my email so that I can upload it to YouTube. Isn't that just grand? So I got to figure out how to get all that done. This is, I have a new laptop. So thinking I wouldn't have to pull out the camera, guess what I had to do? I had to pull out the Hot Olympus, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, that's a ramble. I'm tired. I need to take a nap. Um, I'm going to retwist my hair. This is a twist out. Um, and what I used for my twist out was the Curls Unleashed by Organic Root Stimulator. Um, the front of the container has some fallacy right in the title of the product. It's the Take Command Curl Defining Cream moisturizes and defines curls without shrinkage for natural curls. Now you know as well as I know that if I if you put this on your hair and your hair is wet 
and your hair dries, you're going to have shrinkage. And shrinkage is okay. I don't, um, I guess I can understand because I know how I was when it came to growing my hair. Um, I didn't want you know, I wanted the long hair. So I can understand why some people are shrinkage averse. And this stuff is thick. It ain't, oh, it's moving just a little bit. But let me just turn it the other way because I've shaken it a few times. But this stuff is thick. And um, this, I like the results I got from it. It did not dry my hair out, um, which is a good thing. Um, I don't like the smell. It's very perfumey, like they're trying to cover up the smell of the product. Didn't enjoy that too much. But the um, actual result of it, I did like. I um, twisted my hair two days ago, and I took it out. Today I stretched it um, using the pull and bobby pin method that I picked up from Natural 85. So, um, yeah. But this whole shrink, the whole without shrinkage thing, I'm just... I'm not into that. I can understand why some people have an issue with their shrinkage. I don't have an issue with my shrinkage. And as someone who obsessed over having long hair for so long, the fact that I don't care about my shrinkage is monumental to me. Um, and I, my shrinkage is bananas. Like, my hair, if I were to do a wash and go, which I don't do often because it takes so much to detangle um, afterwards, but if I were to do a wash and go, my hair would go like this is how long it is without pulling on it. Just, I'm going to, you know, just straighten and just with the actual product in it. It would go from here, from about here to, yeah, about right here. That's how much shrinkage I have. It's absolutely ridiculous. But it's all different ways to wear my hair. I haven't even applied heat to my hair or straightened my hair since 2011. Um, so that is, you know, it's, it's, I'm just loving it. It's all different ways to wear my hair. And I still have another way to wear my hair because I haven't done any um, straightening of it, you know, any flat ironing of it to wear it straight. So that's the way I haven't worn it in a while. I haven't done roller sets in a while. And I did roller sets repeatedly while I was transitioning. Uh, but there are so many different ways that I can wear my hair now. I'm not pinned into doing one thing. Like when I was relaxed, I wore my hair in basically the same style every single day. And there are so many things I can, different things I can do with my hair now. All I got to do is wet it. And I like that. So anyway, after all of that talking, I hope you got the limp check. I'm going to view this video. I don't feel like recording another video because this was not supposed to be a multiple take situation. And thanks to the issue of me learning my new computer, I don't know if that's operator error or issue with the computer actually. But um, yeah, because of that, this is a multiple take situation. Not feeling it. So hopefully this has all come out well. Um, I will post, like I, I think I said, I will post some pictures from my last lymph check under this video on my blog and um, I mentioned the curls unleashed and yeah that's it for today so bye